Oh wow, are you trying something new with your hair? No, what do you mean? Look at yourself. <gasps> what happened to my hair? Honestly, I think it's kind of cool. It looks like a bird's nest. Looks like you have some pink strands of hair now too. Apparently. I guess it could have been worse. It could have been country. I fell in love with an emo girl. All I want is... Very funny. You know, you kind of look like Machine Gun mm -hmm. Kelly too. Thanks. Why do you look like Hot Topic threw up on you? Guys, okay, it wasn't me. It was my soulmate. I don't want to dress like this. You know, maybe you should. It kind of suits you. Maybe your soulmate just has a crush on Avril Lavigne. That's fair. Me too. Or they might be like a super famous rock star. I really doubt that, but it would be super cool. Guys, is that who I think it is? Looks like your rock star isn't that far away after all. She's back and with more fashion trends from the 2000s that we have to bring back. Listen, hear me out for one second. The denim on denim is kind of hot. I love it. Especially in like this couple's aesthetic and with the necklace, I'm obsessed. I will now be buying a denim corset. Track suits, like why do we ever stop wearing these? They're so cute and you don't have to put any effort in because it already matches. I'm gonna buy this, but in hot pink. Just everything about Christina Aguilera, the gloves, the chain, the hats, I love the hat. Obviously I already did the braids too. I think they're so cute. Also just everything Avril Lavigne did. Like, are you kidding me? This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I have these arm cuffs and I bought a tie because of this look. I'm obsessed with cargo pants and I'm very glad that they're coming back into style. Let me know what trends you missed from the 2000s because I have so many more. These are some trends from the 2000s that we need to bring back immediately. First of all, the black and white hair. It's just so good. I wish I could do it, but I'm afraid I'm gonna burn all my hair off. Somebody else needs to eat this up and tag me, please. You might wanna argue with me, but low rise jeans and hear me out. As someone who is not very tall, this makes my torso look so much longer because I have children's sized legs. The crimped hair, mwah, mwah. why did we ever stop doing this? I kind of love the texture. It's fun, it's crazy, it's messy, but on purpose. Last but not least, okay, this, this whole aesthetic. The belt and the cargos and the bracelets, yes. I would literally wear this tomorrow if I had all of this. Comment a trend that you want to see come back. I'm ready for school. What's this? I'm ready for school. <gasps> what just happened? What about this one? <gasps> when did I get here? Chill, we've been here an hour. An hour? I never even left my house. You're acting strange. And that is why the war started. Dude, did she just? Bro, no way, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> you have zero manners. No, no, it was the chair. It was the chair, I promise you it was the chair. No way, that wasn't a chair. We all heard it. Get me out of here. And that is why- Miss, I need to use the bathroom. Hey. <gasps> Babe! I'm here to break up with you. Also, I've been cheating on you throughout the entire relationship. I'm really sorry, but I'm not actually. Oh, you are not getting away with this. Hey. Babe! I'm, I'm breaking up with you, and I've been cheating on you throughout this entire relationship. How could you do that? How could you cheat on me? Oh, just like how you cheated on me this whole relationship? I, uh, how did you know this? I'm an intellectual. Steve, you will never believe what I can do. I can go back and forth in time. Have you lost your mind? No, I'll show you. I want to take my best friend forward in time. Bessie, did it work? Did what work? Bestie, look, I don't want to explain this whole thing again, but I can go back and forth into time. Have you lost uh, your... Uh, uh, hold my hand. I want to try something. Huh, how did I get here? Shh, we're in class. You really can time travel. I told you. Hey, I need you to help me with something. I need you to help me with something. What? Do you need to rewrite a test or something? No, it's way more serious than that. I'll tell you after class. Okay. Ten years ago, my family was in a car accident driving my sister to school. I was homesick that day. None of them survived. I need to go back and warn them not to get in that car. I don't know. Changing the past that drastically has got to have some kind of consequences. No, you don't understand. The last thing I said to them was I hate them and I wish they were never my family. I can't live with this guilt. I have to fix this. Okay. I'll help you. Thank you. Take my hand. What is taking her so long? It worked. I convinced them all to stay home today. That's great. Let's go back. Wait, I forgot my phone. What's going on? Wait, come back. No, I left her in the past. <gasps> Bestie, there you are. I was so worried. Who are you? 
finally 18. What gift do I get? A mystery box? Oof. Well, might as well open it. No, don't. Why? I heard a story of one person who had a mystery box and they stopped breathing right as they opened it. I should wait to open it then. Good idea. It could be very dangerous. What did you get for your gift? I got this mystery box. Open it. I heard of someone who got a mystery box and got a million dollars. Don't open it. I heard someone got gifted a mystery box and lost a finger. Open it. Don't. Open it. No. I'm scared. I'm not gonna open it. Hey, I want to trade my gift with you for that mystery box. What's your gift? A mansion. It's way better than a box. So give me the box. Trade it now. No, we can't trade gifts. It's illegal. I have to know what's in this box. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's empty. Have you opened your box yet? No, I haven't opened it yet. I don't know what's inside. Open it. I need that box. Give it. Just open it. I'll give you my mansion. Back. Stay back, you fiends. Open it. No, I don't think there's any need to open it. All right, class, it's time for the test. We'll be starting right now. Oh, shoot, I forgot my pen. Oh, my God. What is this box? <gasps> you lied to me. You did open the box. Shh, my crush is coming. Oh. Hey, box, I could really use some perfume. Perfect. This box could be very beneficial to me. To us. No. Hey, Box, I could really use a million dollars right now. How many is it gonna be? Six? That's not so bad. What's the first task? Well, this is where I die. Uh, hey, Mom. Hey, sweetie, does this dress look okay? Uh, no, actually, it makes you look fat. What? How dare you? A J? Must be a fuckboy. No way. I'd rather die. Hey, Mr. Fitz, can I talk to you for a second? Of course, Giselle, what's wrong? Well, since you have a free period, I was wondering... Do you understand all the materials? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, an A? I did all of this for a J.A. Whatever, just give me the next task. Uh, an A. I did all of this for a J.A. Whatever, just give me the next task. Steal something from a store. That shouldn't be too hard. Hey miss, can I help you? Oh, no thank you, I'm just looking. Be sure to call me if you need anything. Will do. Mm. Might as well steal something cute. Well, that was easy. Hold it right there. You're under arrest for thievery. <sighs> did you or did you not steal that shirt? Yes, I did, but it was for a toss. End of story. Guilty. Wait. Damn it. A Y. J. What's the next toss? You have got to be kidding me. I've got demons, you've got scars But all the bumps and bruises take us to the place we are We've been through heaven, and now we fell Now you might think it's over, but the story's ours to tell Just know that I will be with you Just keep looking for the moon And I'll be here while oh, you're searching for your life out in the dark Looking for the moon, you'll see it clear Cause it shines the same wherever you are Let it guide you, don't look behind you If you stay within the light, I'll always find you Looking for the moon and I'll be I've got demons You've got scars But all the bumps and bruises take us to the place we are We've been through heaven And then we fell And you might think it's over But the story's ours to tell Just know that I will 
be with you Just keep looking for the moon And I'll be here While you're searching for your light Fell in the dark Looking for the moon You'll see it clear Cause it shines the same wherever you are Let it guide you Don't look behind you If you stay within the light, I'll always find you Looking for the moon and I know you guys tell me to stop messing with my hair, but my bangs need a trim Am I gonna go to a stylist? now? I'm gonna cut them myself with my baby tiny scissors I just wanna do some baby pieces in the front because I don't trust myself But I also can't see because of the bangs Okay, I'm just gonna say fuck it and start cutting <laughs> I don't wanna mess them up that's my biggest worry that they're just gonna like look really bad i don't think that that's even i think i need to cut a little bit more on this side hopefully i won't regret this okay i'm too scared and i barely took anything off but i can definitely see now which is good i think that they're cute my hair is always really messy so you probably won't even tell if they're kind of uneven okay guys i just got back from the festival day two and my hair is looking a little crazy but the makeup has stayed on for the entire duration of the festival because of this nyx cosmetics mattifying setting spray it is so impressive and look at these stars the dating standards in 2023 are literally on the floor like when did a date become getting in a car and just sitting in the parking lot i just want someone to serenade me is that too much to ask if you agree that romance is dead then you're gonna like this song I keep Look at this dude I'm talking to. He is so fine. Oh, uh, what happened to the dude you were talking to last week? Yeah, I blocked him on like everything. What do you mean you blocked him? I asked him what he was doing and he said he was going to the gym, like J-I-M. You blocked him because he said a single word that you did not like. Yes, what else was I supposed to do? That was the worst thing I've ever heard. Okay. <laughs> Your majesty, we found this peasant running around holding this sign begging for more words. What a pity. A wordless beggar. Feed him to the dogs. <laughs> Your Majesty, please help my family. You only had six words left and you wasted them on me. How pathetic. Your Majesty, you have infinity words and the townspeople are really struggling. You could give them all words and you'd still have infinity. And why would I do that? I run a palace, not a charity. You are one evil, evil queen. Who are you? Reveal yourself immediately. You don't deserve all those words. <laughs> go Guards, a witch stole my word. Where'd she go? Give me your words. Immediately. I'm sorry, your majesty. I cannot. Hello, queen. You'd like to sell this crown? Too bad. I won't buy from you. These are real diamonds and gold. Yes, but you're a selfish queen and you don't deserve any more words. Sorry, your majesty. I'll clean everything up quickly. Give me your words immediately. I'm sorry, but I don't have much to give. Guards, chop off first. I've never seen you this quiet before. Word thief. Don't worry, I gave your words to someone more deserving. That servant girl, she's safe and she has infinity words now. I'm sorry, your majesty, I'll clean everything up quickly. Give me your words immediately. I'm sorry, but I don't have much to give. Guards, chop off her head. What? Get over here. Hello, darling. This is for you. In infinity words? They'll be back. Come quickly. I'd like to sell these diamonds. You're trying to scam me. These diamonds are fake. I'll buy those from you. Really? Why would you do that? Is 1,000 words okay? Yes, please. Servant girl. Your Majesty. Look, I'll give you words. As many as you want. All I ask is that you promise to be kind to me. 
Take this. Take over as queen. Okay, class, did everyone receive their intelligence score? No way, she got a zero. <laughs> what are you doing? I need to work really hard and prove everyone wrong. Good morning, Donna. Here's your coffee. Thank you. How did she become a CEO when she has an intelligence score of zero? Catherine? Uh, yes, boss? You'll be in charge of coffee runs today. No way, seriously? Seriously. Come in. Hey, I was just thinking it'd be a better image for the company if you put your intelligence score to private. We wouldn't want people thinking an idiot runs this company, right? Let them think what they want to think. I know, but... You may be excused. All right, everyone. Let's begin the meeting. It's so cool to have a CEO with an intelligence score of 100. What? I can't believe you have an intelligence score of 100. You're so cool. Look at this article. You're getting praised everywhere. You're the first person in the world to reach an intelligence score of 100. So now, because I have an intelligence score of 100, everyone all of a sudden respects me? Good morning, everyone. I'd like you all to meet our new hires. Are you serious? These are the new hires? Their intelligence scores are extremely low. Hey, boss. Why did you hire a bunch of new staff that are, well, to put it lightly, dimwits? Have you spoken to any of them? No. Well... Then I would like to ask you to speak with one of them, and I can assure you the staff I hire are very intellectual. <laughs> oh my. Woo, party! Boss, all these dimwits you hired through a party and they're destroying the office. Ooh, this is so pretty. No, don't! What have I done? I get to pick whether I'm gonna have a baby brother or a baby sister? Pick sister. But I want a baby brother. Are you the one delivering the baby? No. Then pick sister. Fine. She's here. Hi. <laughs> Shh, no, don't cry. It's okay. <laughs> Give her to me. You're holding her wrong. Hey, what are you doing? Your little sister needs toys. You're way too old for that anyways. Ready? Catch. Ow! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you in the eye. <laughs> My baby. What did you do to her? It was an accident. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what? Go to your room. Your sister needs a blood transfusion. What? Yes, it's a really long story, but I told them you would donate your blood. Come on, we gotta go to the hospital now. Wait! You need to donate your blood to your little sister. Come on, we have to get to the hospital now. Wait! Okay, honey, let me see your arm. Samantha! I'm sorry, I can't do it. You know I have a fear of needles. Your little sister needs your help, ma'am. We cannot force her. Maybe you want to donate? Yeah, why don't you donate your blood? After all, she's your favorite. Okay, I'll remember this. Mommy and I are going on vacation. What about me? You're staying here, you have school. We'll only be gone for two weeks or so. Two weeks? But what about food and- You can drive, and here's money for food. Now say bye, sissy. Bye, sissy. I used up all the money mom gave me for gas for school, and now I'm starving, and there's nothing to eat. Sorry you missed me. Leave a message after the beep. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Officer Bloom. Your neighbors have reported this house. Are your parents home, sweetheart? Why did my neighbors report my house? My report says that they heard a young female crying for over an hour. What's the matter, sweetheart? My mom, she went on vacation with my little sister, but she's not answering. Okay, how about your dad? We're not really in contact with him anymore. Listen, you're not in trouble, but would it be okay if I take a look inside your house? That's our pantry. This is all baby food. Yeah, so all that stuff is for my baby sister. Alright, but what about your food? I gotta report this then. Wait, um, is my mom gonna get in trouble? Because if that's the case, I take back what I said. She did leave me, like, a little bit of money for food. Relax, everything's gonna be okay. Officer, I can assure you I am not neglecting my daughter. Do you think I could have a word with her alone? Go right ahead. You called the cops on me? I'm sorry, I didn't. The neighbors did because... Shh. Do you want to take care of your baby sister by yourself? Then tell the cop what I tell you to say. You're going to tell the cop exactly what I say. You sure you're okay? Yeah. Everything's fine. Sissy, you want to play? Not right now, okay? <laughs> Mommy... Sissy's being mean to me. She is. <sighs> I wasn't. I was just telling her that I didn't want to play right now. Baby, go watch Coco Melon. I'm going to talk to Samantha. 
Honey, what? I got in contact with your father. No, you didn't. Yes, Samantha, I did, and he has kindly offered to let you live with him. No, Mom, I don't want to go live with him. He's expecting you. Come on, we have to go. No, I haven't talked to him in a long time. I'm not going. Fine. Samantha, dinner's ready. I'm not hungry. Well, that's not what you told the cop, now is it? You said I don't feed you, so here's your food. Is it good, Samantha? Good. Mom? Yeah? I, um, I don't really feel so good. Why is Sissy sleeping? Because we're going on a road trip. Mom, where are we going? Mommy, Sissy's talking to you. Sissy needs to rest, honey. Just ignore her and watch your show. <gasps> Coco Melon! Hello? We're here. Okay, there's your daughter. Go ahead and carry her inside. Karen, she's 17. I'll just wake her up. Come on, Samantha. Hey, wake up. Let's go inside. What the hell is wrong with her? Look, she wasn't gonna come, so I... Karen, are you kidding? Mommy, who's dad? He's no one, honey. Just watch your show. Actually, sweetheart, I'm your father, and you guys are coming with me. No, Daniel, we agreed. You take Samantha, and I keep Susie. Besides, you left us because you didn't want kids anymore. Well, now I'm changing my mind after seeing what you do to Samantha. No. Yes, I want my daughters back. You can have one. How about none? Because I called the police. You what? Patty cake, patty cake, patty cake baker's men. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Girls, I just wanted to say thank you for giving me a second chance. Yeah, you know, ever since mom has been out of the picture, I've actually really appreciated the fact that... I chose to have a baby sister. I love you, sissy. I love you too. Aw, group hug. So, how many words you get? Three again? Well, you might as well use them up right now. I love you. Aw, oh, babe. I love you even more. And what can I get you to? I'll take the steak and fries and she's gonna get the side salad. That's it? Are you sure you don't want a bit more to eat? She doesn't have any more words left. Oh, I apologize. I didn't realize... Let me see that one, babe. Nah, I don't like it. I'm gonna find you something else. Here, try this one on. I'll come with you. Excuse me, sir, but there's only one person allowed in the fitting room at a time. What? But she needs help putting this on. Oh, well, since I work here, I can go ahead and help her out with that. It's no problem. Fine. Just don't be too long. Is everything okay? Oh, you don't have any words left, do you? I'm really not supposed to do this, but here... Hopefully that's enough words for you. He's not my boyfriend. Babe, you almost done? Sorry, her zipper got stuck. She'll be right out. Okay, just pretend everything's fine, and I'm gonna go get my manager. No, please don't. You'll get... I'm coming in. Whoa, hey, look at you. Red is definitely your color. We'll take it. Okay, I'll go ring you guys up in the front. All right, you're all set, and here's a gift receipt just in case you need it. Thanks. Come on, let's go. Glad they let you wear that out, huh? Hope you're hungry, because I'm making us some food. Babe, I made us a special dinner because you look so beautiful. Here, try some. Baby, come on. I promise it won't make you tired like last time. Somebody's feisty tonight. You know, why did that lady give you a gift receipt? It's not like you're going to return it. What does it even say on here? No! Where did you get words from? Who gave you those words? Was it the saleswoman? Why did she do that? A lot of words again, huh? How convenient. No, I want an answer. Wait here. Okay, now write down why she gave you those words. Let me see that. You better have a good answer. You don't know? So what? She was just being nice? Well, if I find out that you're lying, you know what happens. Hey, I'm back. So you like the food? Good, good. Babe, can you hear me? Yeah, she's out. Sorry, but I had a feeling you were going to try and leave tonight. What the hell are you doing? You didn't actually eat the dinner, did you? Well, aren't you quite the little actress, pretending to be asleep like that? Now, what were you doing with my Amber Alert? Missing girl from 2018. Shit. So why didn't you call the police right away? 
I was too scared to call the police at the time, but after they left, I did, and that's when they told me her description matched Claire Montgomery, who's the girl who went missing in 2018. After all I've done for you, and you go and lie to me, I need to ask you a question, and I don't want to set you free, so... How did you? Haven't you figured it out by now? I found a way to steal your words, and I can control how many you get. I mean, I gotta admit, it's pretty adorable watching you anxiously wait every year, hoping you'll get more words. But how many do you always end up getting? Three. And what do I ask you to tell me every year? I love you. I love you. Those were the only words I wanted to hear from you for so long. But you were never into me. Because you were a stalker. I admired you, Claire. I... I care about you a lot. Then let me go. You know I can't do that. I have to protect you. You're insane. And you're using up all your words. Here, take some more. You are a sick son of a... On second thought, maybe it's best if you remain silent. This is why I can never give you any more words. I'll come back down here once you... Looks like we got company. Officer, I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. That may be the case, but we're gonna take a look around, and if we don't find anything, then we'll be good to go. So far, I don't see anybody here, sir. Keep looking. Want to get your words back? 10, 9, 8, 4, 3, 2, 1. Words retrieved. Since we can't find anyone, we're gonna... No. No help, I'm down here. Wait, where's that coming from? He has a basement. I'm I'm in the basement. Show us where she is right now. Whoa, okay, okay. Hey, are you Claire Montgomery? Yes, yes, that's me. Oh my god. Okay, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. How did you get your words back? Boys, get him out of here. Don't even look at him, it's alright. Claire, tell him you love me. Tell him that I was good to you. Tell him or else I'll... Stop it. Somebody get him in the car. Want to take Derek's words? Babe, please! Get in the car, Miss the Paca. Babe, you have to listen to him. Don't call me babe. In fact, you're not going to be able to call me anything now. You're finally going to get to feel how I felt for these past three years. Being silenced isn't very fun, is it, Derek? Looks like Mr. Paca got what he deserved. Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember, mine was just that I couldn't eat candy. And after you kiss your soulmate, your curse goes away. So once you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. I miss her. Me too. <gasps> you can't tell anyone about your curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. Shake my hand. Don't just stand there. She needs to learn manners. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. You should just give it to me. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. You're going on a business trip for five months? You'll be fine. No, you cannot leave me alone with these two bi- Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Uh. Okay, let it go. Look, by the time I come back, you'll probably have met your soulmate and your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed your soulmate? No, I, I haven't. I think my soul meets the prince. I'll be kissing him soon. Good for you. So what's your curse? I'm actually not really allowed to say. Literally just say it, my gosh. I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? You're joking. <laughs> hmm, pat your shoulder. <gasps> Mother, she wasn't kidding. Pull your hair. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you guys, this curse is not a joke. You can't just stop talking. From now on... You're going to do exactly as we say. Pour me some more tea. And his guards came and they didn't let me talk to him anymore. Of course they wouldn't let you talk to him. You're a peasant and he's a prince. Mother, you told me the prince was my soulmate. He's supposed to kiss me and break my curse, not hers. Remember, she has to do everything she's told. So we'll just tell her 
You are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. No! Alina, get the door! Alina! Your Highness! I just had to see you again. I had my guards find out where you live. Listen, I need your help with my curse. My stepmother, she's controlling- Your Highness! Hi! Ignore her. She's our maid. You're not their maid, right? Of course she is! Tell him you're our maid. I'm their maid. Listen, I need to speak to Alina alone. But your highness... You heard the prince, stepmother. He wants to speak to me alone. Of course. Just don't listen to a word he tells you. Grandma, what is that above my head? Those are all your childhood memories, dear, and it looks like you've already made quite a lot of them. Well, that's good, because I want to remember all the fun things I did with you. Oh, Annalise, you are so sweet. There is a fire in the castle. We need to get you both out now. Grandma, I'm scared. I don't want to lose you like I lost my parents. Don't worry, dear. We'll be all right. My queen, watch out! The ceiling is collapsing. No! You left your clothes on the floor. Sorry, I just... They pay me to foster you, not to be your maid. Didn't anyone ever teach you to clean up after yourself? Well, you know, even if someone did, I really wouldn't have remembered because I lost all my childhood memories. Yeah, yeah, enough with your sob story. Just clean up. Excuse me, sir, do you know why there's a bunch of flowers everywhere? Oh, yeah, those are for the princess. Everyone leaves those for her. Today marks the fifth year of her passing. It's awful what happened to her. Hey, are you okay? I think I just had a memory of me being a princess. Sorry, I know that sounds crazy. A princess? Wait, did something happen to your memory? Yeah, actually, when I was younger, some sort of accident happened to me. I don't remember what, but the doctor told me that I have amnesia. Some people still think the princess is still alive. They do? Yeah, and actually, I'm one of those people. You know, I could take you to the queen if you really think you're the princess. No, that's okay. Uh, I really should be going. At least take my number. If any more of your memories come back, call me. I can't believe that guy thought that I was a princess. Quiet, my queen, watch out! The ceiling is collapsed! No! Grandma? She left me. Uh, my head... Hey, I got your voicemail. You got another memory? I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. The thing is, they won't just let anyone into the castle. We have to convince them that you're royalty. But how would I do that? I have an idea. Come on, we're going shopping. Are you sure this outfit isn't too much? No, I think it's perfect. It shows the queen that you know how to dress like a princess. If you say so. Wait here. The queen will see you in just a moment. Hey, it's gonna be alright. She'll remember you. Grandma, I thought I'd never- See me again. I've heard it all before. Tell me something that only my Annalise would know. Well, I can't exactly do that because a lot of my memories got lost, but I remember you. Stop. My heart can't take this anymore. 
She's just another girl pretending to be my granddaughter. Take her away. No, please. I came all this way to see you. I'm sure I can remember something. Let's go. A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. Let her go. I need to get something to show her. This was one of the few things that survived the fire. I had it restored. I bought it as a gift for my granddaughter. You couldn't have known about that unless... It's me, Grandma. Oh, Annalise, it is you. I recognize your eyes. I'm so sorry. I begged the gods to go look for you. It's okay. How are you alive? What happened? I can barely remember. Sweetheart, can you remember anything about what happened to you? What your name is? What your parents' names are? I don't remember anything. We have a code red. So you survived the fire and woke up in a hospital with amnesia. I am so sorry, but what's important is we're together now. Grandma, I actually wouldn't have been able to find you if it wasn't for him. Oh, really? What is your name? My name is Eric, Your Majesty. I can't thank you enough, Eric. Why aren't you a handsome young man? Ah, uh, thanks. It is my honor to restore my granddaughter's title of Princess Annalise. Long live the princess. Your total's 20 even. Babe, I'm so sorry. I don't think I have enough. Hey, it's okay. I got it. Sorry if I embarrassed you back there. No, you're fine. I understand you're going through a tough time with your job. Tomorrow when the amount in my bank account appears, it might come as a bit of a shock to you. Listen, I don't care how low that number is. I'm gonna love you just the same. Poor thing. It's time to see how little he has. What? My boyfriend is a billionaire? No, there has to be some sort of mistake. I, uh... Take it you saw my account? Yeah, and you've got a lot to explain. Whose Ferrari is in our driveway? That's mine. Well, actually, it's going to be yours now. What? No, I am still mad at you. Come with me and I'll explain everything. There was a good reason for me lying. Oh yeah? Was there a good reason for you having me buy your meals for the past year? Heck, I even paid your rent one time. I know, I know. And I'll be paying you back for all of it. Why didn't you just tell me? Because every girl I've ever dated has used me for my money. I was tired of dating gold diggers, and I wanted to find a girl who liked me for me. I promise, I will make it all up to you, and I'm going to start by showing you where I really live. Whoa, now hold up. You have a Chick-fil-A in your kitchen? Yep, and there's a McDonald's upstairs. <laughs> Babe, who are you, Richie Rich? Excuse me for just a moment. This is crazy. One of my stocks just went up. A lot. Yeah, actually, I can see that. Why don't you look happy? I'm worried about your safety. You can't tell anyone that you're dating a billionaire. Why can't people know I'm dating a billionaire? Because I'm now one of the youngest billionaires alive. And is that a bad thing? I know a lot of people that would die to get their hands on my money. And you think they'll come after me? I know they will. Promise me you won't tell anyone about my money. Okay, I promise, but you do owe me quite a bit of cash, so what do you say? You take me on a little shopping spree? Well, I can't be seen buying you a bunch of stuff, but I can give you this. Babe, this is like 10k. You didn't owe me this much. I know. Consider it a thank you for being so kind to me. I want you to spoil yourself. Oh, hey, Lizzie. Where's your boyfriend? He's at his house. Why? Oh, nothing. I just think it's kind of sad how he never buys you anything. I mean, look at all the stuff you had to buy yourself. It must be hard to date someone poor. Actually, he's not poor. He's one of the richest people alive. What? <gasps> did you enjoy your shopping spree? Uh, yeah, sure did. Good. I also bought you this necklace. Babe, it's beautiful. Thank you. Delivery for Elizabeth? Yes, how much do I owe you? Oh, it's not you who's gonna owe me money. It's your boyfriend. Lizzie, it's 1 a.m. Why are you up? This isn't Lizzie, but if you want to see her again, you're gonna do exactly as I say. You want me to wire you one billion dollars? Yeah, do it now or she's gone. No, I'll send it. It's done. Now let me speak to her. Okay, talk. Liam, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I accidentally told someone that you were... It's okay. I planned for this. Remember that necklace I gave you? Yeah. It's a tracker, babe. No! Please, freeze! Thank you, Liam. I'm glad you were able to get your money back. 
I don't care about the money. I'm just happy you're okay. Oh, wow. Are you trying something new with your hair? No. What do you mean? Look at yourself. <gasps> what happened to my hair? Honestly, I think it's kind of cool. It looks like a bird's nest. Looks like you have some pink strands of hair now, too. Apparently. I guess it could have been worse. It could have been country. I fell in love with an emo girl. All I want is... Very funny. You know, you kind of look like Machine Gun mm -hmm. Kelly, too. Thanks. Why do you look like Hot Topic threw up on you? Guys, okay, it wasn't me. It was my soulmate. I don't want to dress like this. You know, maybe you should. It kind of suits you. Maybe your soulmate just has a crush on Avril Lavigne. That's fair. Me too. Or they might be like a super famous rock star. I really doubt that, but it would be super cool. Guys, is that who I think it is? Looks like your rock star isn't that far away after all. She's back and with more fashion trends from the 2000s that we have to bring back. Listen, hear me out for one second. The denim on denim is kind of hot. I love it. Especially in like this couple's aesthetic and with the necklace, I'm obsessed. I will now be buying a denim corset. Track suits, like why do we ever stop wearing these? They're so cute and you don't have to put any effort in because it already matches. I'm gonna buy this, but in hot pink. Just everything about Christina Aguilera, the gloves, the chain, the hats, I love the hats. Obviously I already did the braids too. I think they're so cute. Also, just everything Avril Lavigne did. Like, are you kidding me? This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I have these arm cuffs and I bought a tie because of this look. I'm obsessed with cargo pants and I'm very glad that they're coming back into style. Let me know what trends you missed from the 2000s because I have so many more. These are some trends from the 2000s that we need to bring back immediately. First of all, the black and white hair. It's just so good. I wish I could do it, but I'm afraid I'm gonna burn all my hair off. Somebody else needs to eat this up and tag me, please. You might wanna argue with me, but low rise jeans and hear me out. As someone who is not very tall, this makes my torso look so much longer because I have children sized legs. The crimped hair, mwah, mwah. why did we ever stop doing this? I kind of love the texture. It's fun, it's crazy, it's messy, but on purpose. Last but not least, okay. This, this whole aesthetic. The belt and the cargos and the bracelets, yes. I would literally wear this tomorrow if I had all of this. Comment a trend that you wanna see come back. Your Majesty, we found this peasant running around holding this sign, begging for more words. A wordless beggar. Feed him, dog. Your Majesty, please help my family. You only had six words left. You wasted them on me. Your Majesty. You have infinity words, and the townspeople are really struggling. You could give them all words, and you'd still have infinity. And why would I do that? I run a palace, not a charity. You are one evil, evil queen. Who are you? Reveal yourself immediately. You don't deserve all those words. <laughs> A witch stole my words. Where'd she go? Give me your words. Immediately. I'm sorry, your majesty. I cannot. Hello, queen. You'd like to sell this crown? Too bad. I won't buy from you. These are real diamonds and gold. Yes, but you're a selfish queen, and you don't deserve any more words. Sorry, your majesty. I'll clean everything up quickly. Give me your words immediately. I'm sorry, but I don't have much to give. Guards, chop off her head. I've never seen you this quiet before. Word thief. Don't worry, I gave your words to someone more deserving. That servant girl, she's safe and she has infinity words now. I'm sorry, your majesty, I'll clean everything up quickly. <laughs> Give me your words immediately. I'm sorry, but I don't have much to give. Guards, chop off her head. What? Get over here. Hello, darling. This is for you. In infinity words? They'll be back. Come quickly. I'd like to sell these diamonds. You're trying to scam me. These diamonds are fake. I'll buy those from you. Really? Why would you do that? Is 1,000 words okay? Yes, please. Servant girl. Your Majesty. Look, I'll give you words, as many as you want. All I ask is that you promise to be kind to me. Take this. The crown? Take over as queen. 
Okay, class, did everyone receive their intelligence score? No way, she got a zero. <laughs> what are you doing? I need to work really hard and prove everyone wrong. Good morning, Donna. Here's your coffee. Thank you. How did she become a CEO when she has an intelligence score of zero? Catherine? Uh, yes, boss? You'll be in charge of coffee once again. No way, seriously? Seriously. Come in. Hey, I was just thinking it'd be a better image for the company if you put your intelligence score to private. We wouldn't want people thinking an idiot runs this company, right? Let them think what they want to think. I know, but... You may be excused. All right, everyone. Let's begin the meeting. It's so cool to have a CEO with an intelligence score of 100. What? I can't believe you have an intelligence score of 100. You're so cool. Look at this article. You're getting praised everywhere. You're the first person in the world to reach an intelligence score of 100. So now, because I have an intelligence score of 100, everyone all of a sudden respects me? Good morning, everyone. I'd like you all to meet our new hires. Are you serious? These are the new hires? Their intelligence scores are extremely low. Hey, boss, why did you hire a bunch of new staff that are, well, to put it lightly, dimwits? Have you spoken to any of them? No. Well, then I would like to ask you to speak with one of them, and I can assure you the staff I hire are very intellectual. Oh, my. Woo, party! Boss, all these dimwits you hired through a party, and they're destroying the office. Ooh, this is so pretty. No, don't! What have I done? Let's see your mark. Purple? Purple equals famous. You're five and you still can't read. It says famous. Well, does that mean that I'm going to be famous? You famous? Oh, no, honey. These marks are just for fun. But, um, you should cover yours up. Hey, guys, look who it is. Aw, it's the wannabe famous girl. Would you like to audition for a movie, love? No, thank you. Oh, but you're exactly what we're looking for. That's the script. You know what? Maybe I will. Okay, we're ready whenever you are. Action. I'm sorry, Derek, but I don't think things are working out between us. I... Okay, cut. But I didn't even get to finish. I know. We saw what we needed. Thank you. Honey, what's that in your hands? Nothing. Was that a script? It wasn't. It was just some homework. It better not be. Now cover up that mark. Is this Tara? Yes. Hi, I'm calling to congratulate you. You got the part for the movie. You got the part for the movie. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, congratulations. Where are you going? I'm just going to meet up with a couple friends from school. Is that okay? <sighs> yeah, all right. Just don't be too long. So another question we have is, do you have any allergies? I mean, the only thing that I'm allergic to is peanuts. But other than that, allergic to peanuts. Got it. We start filming next week. Okay, thank you. Your mark is showing. Cover it up. I'm not going to cover up my mark anymore. Excuse me? And why is that? Because it might just be coming true. What are you talking about? I got cast as one of the leads in a movie. They start filming next week. I don't really care what you have to say. I'm going to go. My daughter is going to be a lead in a movie? Congrats! This is amazing! Did you like the dinner? Yeah, it was really good, and I'm glad you're supporting me now. Well, I should probably get to studying my lines, so... Actually, no. You won't be doing anything. I'm sorry, honey. I think I put peanuts in the food. What? Whoops. Clumsy me. <laughs> I can't breathe. You're having an allergic reaction. Please. Everything will be fine. Ugh, you should have listened. I was supposed to get the famous mark, not you. Ma'am, what happened to her? I don't know. Get her on the gurney. Her pulse is dropping. Ma'am, it's a miracle. Your daughter has survived. Wait, what? Excuse me, ma'am. After investigating this situation, you're under arrest. What? No, get off of me. I'm innocent. This just in. Mother puts peanuts in. Tara? Yes, this is her. The director wants to speak with you. Hello, Tara. Look, with all the news that's going on with my mom, I can understand if you don't want me in your movie anymore. No, no, that's not why I wanted to speak with you. You see, I believe you have that mark for a reason, and I want you in my movie. And I'd like to help you book more movies, if that's okay. Mom, look, I could get a teddy bear or a paintbrush. I think I'm gonna go with teddy bear. <gasps> no, pick the paintbrush. But I said pick it. Okay. My paintbrush came in. Oh, thank goodness. There, that's for you. Now paint money. Money? Why money? Honey, just paint it.
Okay. Okay, I'm done, but I don't understand why- Shh! Look! Your paintbrush is magic. No way. So you're telling me that everything I paint will come to life? Yes, the paintbrush only works for you. Well, I want to paint a puppy. Honey, no, don't be selfish. You need to think of others before yourself, and there's lots of things that I need. Okay, here's your gold crown. Oh, it's perfect. Mom, can you please make me some food? All this painting is making me really hungry. Why, of course. But don't draw anything while I'm cooking. I'm gonna paint something she would never let me have. My own boyfriend. Honey, dinners. Let me see that. What did you paint? Nothing. I was just scribbling. Really? Then let me see it. No, wait. What is this? This is going in the garbage. Please, he wasn't done yet. He? Were you trying to draw a boyfriend? No. Give me that. No, this is my magic paintbrush. You can't just- Don't tell me what I can't do. I'm confiscating all of your paint stuff until tomorrow. Sorry, Mom, but I'm finishing this. The last thing I need is his eye color. I think this blue will look nice. He's done. Did you learn your lesson? Yeah, I did. Good. Here's your painting supplies back. Today, there is a lot I need you to paint for me. I finished your purple hair clips. Thank you, honey. Can I be done now? Hmm. I know you're not that tired. Well, it has been two hours, so okay, you rest. Mom, five more minutes. I'm not your mom. I'm your boyfriend. I'm your boyfriend. You look exactly like how I pictured you. Down to the hair color and everything. I can't believe this. I didn't even do the best job painting you, but you seem to have come out. Who is this? That's the delivery man. Delivery man? I didn't order anything. Excuse me. I'm her boyfriend. What? You disobeyed me. Mom, I have been painting so much stuff for you, and all I ask for is just one boyfriend. Please. Do you have my hair clips? Yeah, they're right here. What are you doing? Testing a theory. If I rip his painting, he disappears. Look, I found it. Stop! <sighs> Mom, let go, please. You're hurting him. Oh, that's the point. No! It's okay. Hey, catch! Don't give that to her! What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Getting you out of my life. You can't do that! Where did she go? I, uh, painted her on a tropical island, but don't worry. I'll make sure she's well taken care of. Are you still working for that billionaire? Yes, Mom. I'm still his house cleaner. And you know what? I've been working for him for two years, and he still hasn't tipped me a cent. Honey, you have a family to support. You need to demand a raise. You're right. Mr. Blake? Oh. Hi, Jenny. The bathroom needs cleaning ASAP. Actually, sir, I... Please, just call me Jason. Jason, I wanted to speak to you about a raise. A raise? Jenny, I don't give raises. With all due respect, I have been working here for two years, and I do very good work. Yes, you do. Okay, well, I'm just asking for a little bit extra pay because financially I... I'm sorry, I don't remember asking for your sob story. Either clean the bathroom or get out! No, not until you give me that raise. I'll do you one better. You're fired. Jenny, the news! Mr. Blake slipped on the bathroom floor! He has amnesia! Do you know what this means? <sighs> Not really. You can manipulate him! You want me to pretend to be a billionaire's girlfriend? There's already rumors you two have been hooking up anyways. What? Never mind. I'm just saying that it would be believable. Look, I don't know. Well, I do know. He took advantage of you because you're so sweet. You don't deserve this. You don't have enough money, and he needs payback. I can't do this. Tell them what we rehearsed. Can I help you? Hi, yes. I am here to see my boyfriend, Mr. Blake. I mean, Jason. I, I call him Jason. Okay, well, I'm sorry to inform you he has amnesia. Oh, no. Well, does that mean he's gonna, like, not know who I am? We'll see. Follow me. You! I feel like I know you. Oh, babe, your poor head. It's me, your girlfriend. Girlfriend? Yeah, it's okay if you don't remember my face, baby. I remember your face, but I don't remember liking it. Ow. <laughs> I'm glad to see he hasn't forgotten his sense of humor. You get to come home tomorrow. Where is my home? I will show you, and the kids will be so excited. Kids! Now, remember, sweetheart, when you see Mommy come in with Mr. Blake, you're gonna call him... Daddy, but he's just my pretend daddy, but we won't tell him that because it's a surprise. Welcome home, honey. This... this... dump is my house? Babe, it's just a little messy, that's all. There's toys everywhere. 
What is that smell? Oh, that would be the dirty diapers. Uh, yeah, you know what? Would you mind just taking out this trash? I really don't remember having any... Daddy! Uh, hi, kid. <laughs> my name's Kitty Philly, and that's Daisy. I'm assuming your mom picked the names. Mommy said that was my other daddy that left us. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> just kidding. You know, kids, they just say the darnest things. Anyways, babe, uh, where's your wallet? Girl, this is crazy. I know, and he gave his doctor's permission to give me all his information. I also got this. His credit card. You can pay off your bills and give him a taste of his own medicine. He's about to learn what hard work really is. Good morning, how did you sleep? Not the best. Remind me again why I have to sleep on the couch? I told you, it's because you have a horrible snoring problem. Ugh, it keeps me up all night. Anyways, you should really get ready for work. What's my job? You are a garbage man. I am? Yes, you are. Now go get ready for work, and I'm going to go make breakfast, okay? Honey, I'm home. Daddy, are those toys? They sure are. I got your favorite animal. A tiger. Mommy, he, he remembered. And for your sister, a bunny. And for your mother, flowers. Babe, these are my favorite. How, how did you know? A memory came to me of you picking some for me. Mr. Blake, I picked these for you. They're my favorites. Everything's still pretty fuzzy. Peekaboo! <laughs> she has your smile. I have a question. Yes? If we had two kids together and we're in love, then why aren't we married? Well, you just haven't asked me yet. Why aren't we married? Well, you just haven't asked me yet. Well, I think now I want to. He wants to marry you? Jenny, this is amazing. Why don't you look happy? Because I am living in a fantasy. I used his money to get me out of debt. I have to tell him the truth. Besides, the doctor said his MRI checked out fine, so it's only a matter of time before he... Remembers everything? Honey, you're supposed to be at work. Cut the crap, Jenny. My memory is back. I don't ever want to see you again. Jason, I... You're lucky I'm not pressing charges. I'm sorry. I should have never... <laughs> Mommy, where's daddy? He wasn't your real dad. Pretend time is over. No, no, he was real. He he told me that, that he loved me. He told me that too, but... But it wasn't true. Actually, it was. <gasps> daddy! Jason, I knew you'd come back. Where's daddy? He wasn't your real dad. Pretend time is over. No, no, he was real. He, he told me that, that he loved me. He told me that too, but... But it wasn't true. Actually, it was. <gasps> Daddy! Jason, I knew you'd come back. Jenny, these past few weeks with you and your kids made me understand there's more to life than just money. It turns out the person who brought me the most joy was right in front of me all along. I just didn't realize it. When I said I wanted to marry you, I meant it. I bought this for you last night. He wants to marry you, Mommy. Now we can be a real family. Here, this is your future pill. Future pill? Yeah, it tells you what your future career will be. Gold digger? But that's not even a career. I need a new pill. Can't. Everyone only gets one. Hey, did you take your future career pill? <laughs> no way, you got gold digger? Shh. We don't need to draw attention to it. Everyone look, Brianna's future career is a gold digger. <laughs> Stay away from her, boys! Alright, everyone, you can partner up for these math worksheets. Hey, Derek, can you help me? I don't understand anything. No, don't talk to me. You just want to take my money. What money? Did you take your future pill yet? No, I haven't taken it yet. I have it right here. I'll take it when we get back from the assembly. Good idea. Let's go. No way, so cool. I'm gonna be a mafia boss. Well, if I'm gonna be a mafia boss, I'd better start dressing the part. Someone stole my future pill. Now I'm gonna have no future. Hey, look at the... Ah! Since when are you going to be a mafia boss? I'm scared. Now that I'm gonna be a mafia boss, no one will mess with me. Sorry. Hey, watch where you're going. Please don't hurt me. Bree, how is it possible that your future career changed? You only get one pill don't know, and I don't care. Can't believe it. Someone stole my future pill, and now I don't get a future. I'm gonna be jobless. I know who stole your future career pill. It was Brianna. 
her future career all of a sudden just changed. I got you the new dolly you wanted. Thank you, I love... Stop. You can't ever say I love Y-O-U. If you say it to someone who's not your soulmate, you'll lose all memory of the person you said it to. Hey, baby, I got you lunch. Aw, thank you, babe. You're amazing. I think it's time for us to say the L word. But Evan, what if you're not my soulmate? I don't want to forget you. It's okay. You don't need to forget me. I'll just say it then. I love you. Evan? Um, who are you? How do you know my name? I'm your girlfriend. I don't even know you. You're not my girlfriend, you bitch. Hey, Emily. Evan told me he loved me today. Brianna, that's great. He forgot me. Oh, no. I need to make him fall for me again. Even if we're not soulmates, I don't want to lose him. Yeah. Emily? Evan? Emily, how could you kiss Evan? I love him. And I? Brianna, don't say it. I love you. Emily, how could you kiss Evan? I love him. Oh, and I? Brianna, don't say it. Love you. No, Brianna. Brianna. Hmm? How do you know my name? Uh, I'm not sure, but my name's Emily. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, Brianna, I really like your sweater. It's so cute. Thank you. It's new. I just bought it. My ex just came. He told me he loved me today and then forgot me. Whatever. Don't worry about him. You deserve so much better. Thanks, but how would you know? You don't even know me. I don't have to know you. It's obvious. Did you see? Evan was looking at you the whole class. Whatever. He lost his chance. Hey, Emily? Yeah? I never forgot you. What? 